Thanks for spending some time with us everyone, it's Andrew here from IDB. We're going to look at the Nedatmo Home Health Coach, which is a home kit capable sensor that you can throw in your home and power a whole bunch of really, really great things. The device is awesome just by itself of being able to let you know how your home is, but because it has Apple HomeKit built in, it takes those kind of passive sensors and makes them actionable and allows you to do things about them to make your home better. It can measure several different things like humidity, air quality, noise, and temperature. If you're familiar with any of the other Nadatmo products, this will look pretty similar. It reminds me heavily of all the really cool weather station products that allow you to collect weather information. So they built some of that tech here into this little guy and then added HomeKit smarts to it and you've got an awesome sensor to place in your home. Getting up and running is really, really simple. Inside of the box, you have the actual home health coach itself, as well as a power supply, which is nothing more than a micro USB cable attached to a power brick. Because it runs on power, it's able to work over Wi-Fi instead of having to rely on Bluetooth low energy like many of the other sensors that we've looked at in the past. Along the aluminum cylinder, you'll have a plastic base and Nidatmo printed on the front. Along the back, you'll have the micro USB port to charge it, a kind of silicone pad on the bottom, and of course you can't forget that really helpful HomeKit code, which is really what allows you to do everything outside of the sensor itself. That bar going up along the front is also a light, so that when it has something to tell you, it can actually light up. And the top of the device is actually a finger or a touch sensitive button. So you can just touch on the top of this and it'll go ahead and light up and give you some information about your home. It'll give you different color ranges based on the quality of your home. It's really great if you have a house that's got a lot of pets. Just simply tap on the top and it'll light up and say green you're good to go or it'll go blue yellow and you know into the reds which you really don't want to see using home kit you can add it to your home and it'll allow you to choose the room and the name of the device as well as for all the different sensors that you can view inside of the home app or alternatively inside of the home health app from netatmo it gives you all of the different measurements that it can collect like temperature humidity air quality as well as noise and it'll tell you where your home is and how you can get it better so like air quality, it tells you exactly what it's measuring. So the CO2 PPM in your house and where you want it to be. While it doesn't really give you a great graph of your information over time, using that little clockish button, that history button, that top right hand corner, allows you to go back in time and view each of these numbers where they were at that particular moment. So if I wanna see earlier in the day where it is, I can do that. Now today was a great test because we were cleaning the house. So there was dust and everything else going all over the place and it told us that, that our air quality was definitely lacking. Using the Home Health Coach app is great to view all of these and view them over time and see what they actually mean. But to set up some of the cool automations, I opted instead to use the Home app from Apple that shipped with you know, iOS 10 and use that instead to get some really cool automation stuff going. Inside of the Home app, you will see all of them in the room that you place them in. So in this case, the living room. I can see right away I have an alert. The living room has really inferior air quality and I can actually opt in to get status updates and notifications when it gets to that level. I can include the status here, so when I open it up, bam, I know my air quality is an issue and I need to do something about it. I also have the carbon dioxide sensor, so if I want to get alerted or trigger some automations off of this, it's definitely something I can do. So I have allow notifications on, so if there's ever a problem with carbon dioxide being at a dangerous level, it'll let me know. Alongside air quality and carbon dioxide, we also have the humidity as well as the temperature. So we've got all these different metrics here, but really what can we do with them? That's where this automation tab comes into play and lets us really make our house smart instead of just knowledgeable. So I'm gonna create a new automation and then when a sensor detects something. So that living room carbon dioxide det detector, when it detects high carbon dioxide, I wanna do something. You'll notice we also have these restrict time and restrict location toggles here. Both of these are new in iOS 11 and will be coming soon and allow you to do these based on a certain time or based on location. So if I'm home, turn on the lights. But if I'm not, it really doesn't matter because I'm not there. So we have it now detecting heart high carbon dioxide at any time and we're gonna choose the living room couch lamp. I wanna take that, I wanna have it turn all the way up and I wanna turn the color red. So to recap, what's gonna happen is if there's ever high carbon dioxide, all of a sudden it's going to turn on the red lights in that room to alert me as well as send me a notification on my phone. Unfortunately, the Apple Home app doesn't really support everything. So I wanna get even more advanced. I might have to use a third party option. I really love the Home app and the Eve app. Both are really great for setting up complex rules and situations based on these sensors. 
So here I have the home app and inside of here, I want to set up a new rule based on those other metrics that we can collect, like humidity and temperature. For example, I can set up a rule that when the current relative humidity is above this certain number, I want to turn on my dehumidifier. Or maybe instead, when the temperature in the living room reaches a certain degree, so above whatever we're at here, but anytime the temperature gets really high, I want to turn on a new rule or scene called like clean air that'll actually turn on some fans or an air purifier. So I can also set one up if the air quality is low, turn on air purifier. That's really handy if you have this in your kitchen and you have an air purifier around. So if you're cooking and you maybe make a little bit of smoke, you can easily turn that on automatically as soon as this detects that your air quality is really not what it should be. The Home Health Coach from Netatmo is an all around really nice device. It blends in easily to pretty much any home with its nice simple body and it doesn't really stand out like some crazy thing. It's also really great for homes with pets to let you know, hey, your air quality is a problem or your animals are making noise or any of those other situations that you may run into. And of course, with all that home kit automation in there and iOS 11 coming out very shortly, there's gonna be some really great things that you can do with passive sensors like the Home Health Coach. If you'd like to pick one up for yourself, there's a link below in the description. If you like this and wanna see more great gadgets, go ahead and click on that subscribe button. Give us a thumbs up and until next time, it's Andrew for IDB.